I am Trudy. And uh, this is our forecast uh, for April. And right now we're actually in the month of March, which is uh, the month of all the students frolicking on the beach. Spring break. Spring break. And so that's what uh, um, we're going to show you a little bit of that. And otherwise, <clears throat> What do we do here, Trudy? Well, what we do is we teach the Tarot to people who are interested in empowering their intuitive abilities. Um, we also do a four card spread, and that consists of... The first card is the uh, represents the overall environment of the month for you, April. The second card represents challenges and things that might trip you up. And the third card is the unexpected, forewarned is forearm. And then the fourth card is the outcome, a little girl talk, and then we're going to sort of carry it into the month of May after that. But before we get moving, let's do last month's recap. Let's do it. Okay, Libra, and I want to apologize because last month we did oh, hangouts, yes. and we're really sorry. Um, I was pixelated last month, so... Um, do you know what pixelated means? <laughs> well... This has got two meanings. Pixelated is a little bit um, insane. Oh, well, you I was that, that too. Pixelated? Probably. probably. Yeah, I they used that. to use that word um, in the Cary Grant movie. Remember that? Where they, uh, the... Um, really? Yes. Where the three old ladies were all murdering pe the guests. Oh. And they were pixelated. <laughs> See? Oh, I didn't realize that. Yes. Well, I think you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> If you were watching, we're not really pixelated. <laughs> well, I and then yes, there was some there was some broadband uh, issue going on, especially yeah. with the air signs. So here we are, we're back together, and yeah. we're going to do last month's recap for you. And so this may be even uh, a lot clearer than it was for the actual month. Yeah. So maybe this is the first time we <laughs> learn about what happened to you <laughs> last month. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I got my trusty little recap book here. Yes. And so, oh, what do we have in the up here. <laughs> first, pos first position? We had the Knight of Cups. Okay. So, and the previous month, I believe in this position we had the Empress. Um, so, it's all about love for you. It's been about love for you for a couple of months. Um, and Ava was saying that uh, you found a place to put your passion. Yeah. Um, or if this is not about love, and I'll let Ava speak to this a little bit more, but it just may be this sort of sweetness. Or you could be the peacemaker. The peacemaker. This the month. The peacemaker is what it is. Yeah, so there's this gentle sort of uh, sweetness. Yes, maybe you have to mediate an argument, something like that. Um, <clears throat> become the diplomat. Yes. Of your community. Of friends and family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sort of put that uh, energy in motion yeah. at the beginning of the yeah. month. And then in the position of challenge, we had the Two of Wands reversed. And I'll let Ava talk about this. I kind of liked what you said. What did I say? Which is about <laughs> you might not have the chutzpah. Oh, the chutzpah. The yes, guts. Yes. The guts to do, to leave, to, to go on that adventure, to um, uh, step outside of what is familiar and known and comfortable. Right, or there just may be a delay, or there may be a delay in that. But whatever it is, there's some sort of uh, spiritual block. Yeah, and there's a, probably also this is about travel, so it could be that your challenge is to travel. Mm -hmm. You may want to, but you cannot. Yes, this is the timing is not good. A lot of people want to travel but can't mm -hmm. for various because you're stuck reasons. on the shore. Right. And um, so that could be an interpretation. Uh, also, in the position of unexpe the unexpected, we had the Page of Wands. And we had said uh, that a child might be playing a part in the month. That would be a, it is the Page of Wands. So that would be a fire sign, a fiery child. Yeah, Sagittarius, Leo, or uh, what's the other fire sign? <laughs> Aries. Aries, pardon me. An, impu Aries. an, an impulsive <laughs> I didn't mean to forget child. you, Aries. <laughs> yes. I should have started with you. With a lust for yes. life. And yes. this is like a sporty child. Yes. 
uh, a, a sort of impulsive one. Yes, an energetic child. Energe one who literally does what they want to. Yeah, it's the kind of kid who you have to like run around the playground a few times yeah. during the day just so you can deal with the energy level. Yes. Yeah. Um, so that could be... A lot be... of people put, put their children on treadmills now. Yeah, brother. <laughs> You know, they strap them in and then they make them walk and then it, they go to sleep the rest that of the day. It's very torturous. Yes, it is. Because they're not actually <laughs> seeing anything or no, engaging just, in I the know. world. I know. It's like treating your child as if they're an automaton, like well, a machine. What is the difference between that and putting them in front of a television? That's not true. much. Anyway. Um, but we had also said that uh, this is the card of the free spirit. This is the card that says or tells us that um, after this two of wands which is this like wanting yeah. to travel you're doing something that is sort of free-spirited uh -huh. and um, you know you're kind of like okay let's do this yeah yeah let's it's playful yeah it's let's like go. the fool yeah it's like the fool let's go yeah so you're doing something playful unexpectedly and um, having some fun mm -hmm. um, but then the outcome was the nine of Pentacles reversed interesting card to pop up yeah after this uh, first card which was the Knight of Cups so we had said that um, well, what is this card? I mean, this is the card of the, the I like to call it the well-heeled woman with a fluffy dog. She's got a nice home. She uh, can make everyone feel super welcome and comfortable in her environment. She's, she is, um, she is uh, financially stable, but not only financially stable, she's like self-made, okay? Oh my God. Independent. I just got a revelation. Okay. Oh wow, I didn't even think of it the first time we read it. Well, you know, one of the symbols on there, on the Queen of Pentacles is a falcon. It's on not the, It's not the queen, it's the nine. I mean the nine. Yeah, the nine. Pentacles. Right, it's she the She has a falcon on her, on her shoulder. Mm -hmm. But the falcon is hooded. If you've ever noticed that, it's hooded. And, and when the symbol is that <clears throat> she sacrificed a lot of her freedom to get all of what she has, uh, a lot of hard work, or however uh, that freedom is expressed in her life, that's about that. Now it's reversed. Mm -hmm. She's unable to sacrifice. You see, so in other words, um, she's trapped in a sense, um, and she there. There's there's this feeling of of being trapped by your things and being uh, literally uh, hemmed in mm -hmm. by them. Well, it kind of everything goes, that you are, it kind your of goes, possessions owning you. Mm -hmm. But it kind of goes along with what you had said earlier, which is this is a card of marrying for money. Marrying for money. You're, you're hemmed in by... Steeped in materialism? Yeah, by what you've, what you've created, whatever that is. It's now your ball and chain. Right, so, so you should... Preserve your integrity. That's the most important thing. Not yeah. your stuff is comes and goes. So that that you sacrifice of you. your freedom and the upright is a good sacrifice because you did it voluntarily in order to get to achieve something better. But in the reverse, you're sacrificing your freedom when in fact you don't want that sacrifice. You don't. You want to be free, mm -hmm. but for some reason you are bound. By the materialism. By the bound by the material world. Right. And we had also said, watch out, because this can also mean that someone is selling you... A bill of goods. A bill of goods. Right. Yeah, they're presenting themselves in a certain light, but the truth is actually um, sort of hidden beneath the surface. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. Yes, perfect, so. perfect. Okay, so there you go, Libra. And what we're going to do now is we're going to do... A, uh, the reading. The reading itself for April and uh, these cards are being shuffled right before your very eyes. We're going to put them down and I'm going to project and we are going to project white light into the cards. Of course this may or may not help. <laughs> so, oh. Of course it will. Yeah, we just see. Forewarned is forearmed. That's right. Ready? Even Aaron is projecting. Aaron is camera. projecting. White light around your mobile device. <laughs> We're putting some white light around your, your yes. computer, your laptop, your I smartphone. Mean, yes, yes. We're ready. Let's see what the light has done. All right. 
It oh is. Oh my God. Interesting. Okay. We just get the same cards everywhere. The Nine of Wands. <laughs> and this card had come up for... So many people. I think it came up for Pisces, did it not? I believe it did. Second position Second challenge. Second position challenge. Nine of Wands. What is Nine of Wands? Well, I told this story before, but it reminds yeah. me of if you lived in, a, in an apartment <laughs> in New York City, okay? Let's say it's on the 20th floor and the elevator breaks down. This is you carrying up the groceries on the 19th floor after you stubbed your toe, okay? You're almost ready to just give up, mm -hmm. but you've made it 19 flights. And you're starving. And you're starving, and you only have one more to go, and that's the nine. And then so. there's the toe, <laughs> the throbbing toe. If you do look at this gentleman, he's wearing a bandage. Mm -hmm. Um, around his forehead and, he, and looks, he is he looks very suspicious and he's on guard he's on guard yes he's protecting what he's achieved he is vigilant and yet he's st stalwart determined and resolute he wants to finish he wants to get there. Whatever he's doing, he's going to go to the very end. Mm -hmm. There you go. And this is wands. Wands are about energy, passion, creativity. Um, this is the fire behind uh, the outcome, all right? So you're getting very close to this 10. Yes, uh, so he's just he's he's just a few steps away, as you said, mm -hmm. from from eating that beautiful meal he's bought. Right. So again, metaphorically, however you'd like to to interpret that in your particular life circumstance, you're almost there, and you are resolute. You are going to do it regardless of your past pains. Mm -hmm or your suspicions you're gonna finish of your future pains mm -hmm. so you're gonna finish let's see what your challenge is and this is on the heels of last month what this reading because we've got to read the entire narrative so right. we're thinking about that nine of pentacles reversed okay starting with the knight of cups right so this sort of oh yes okay so is this about a passion? Um, it could be about a human passion towards another individual, or it could be about your your career, your project, your art. Are we building something here? Right, about your your inspiration. Whatever inspires you is. Uh, has propelled you forward, you've believed in it, you've sacrificed for it. That page of wands. Yes, and now your challenge is a major arcana card, which is justice upright. Mm -hmm. What is that? Your challenge is simple. Wow. It's to be absolutely fair in your dealings. In your dealings. Mm -hmm. And this is the Libra card, by the way. Yes. It is Lady Justice. And it is to be uh, intellectually, um, what's the word, uh, detached, so that you can examine the issues involved, um, with a, um, your blindfold, that is, the, like, the blindfolded justice, mm -hmm. because you don't want to, to, uh, put into play any of, of heart issues. You want to come to a rational conclusion about what is right, about right for you or right for the situation. And so it's, it's, it's examining all the details. It's examining the evidence. The evidence. Mm -hmm. Because you have worked very hard mm -hmm. to arrive where you are. To arrive. So the situation last month told us that you brought good intention, which is this Knight of mm -hmm. Cups. You brought your heart into this, mm -hmm. 
Now, this is not about the heart. No, it's not about the heart. He's wielding a sword. So this is intellectual, um, cold intellectual analysis of the facts. So that, and of course, remaining righteous and fair in your ultimate judgment or uh, conclusion. Right, weighing out the facts. Weighing out the facts. So this is a very Libra card because that's what Libra does. That's what Libra does. Your it's challenge is going to be to be, yeah, to, to weigh your options. To weigh your options. Because we have the two there. Right. Right. And or if it's literal, you might have to go to court. You may. And but it's in the upright. And so it will, and go, so in it your will favor. go in your favor. That's right. So that that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. And let's move on to the third position of the unexpected. Aha. That card has come up for them quite a few times. Okay. It is the two of swords in the upright unexpectedly. Interesting with justice because oh, yeah. the two of swords it, it, it points to you unexpectedly not facing a certain situation and wearing that blindfold <laughs> that we had just yeah. told you your challenge will be to take that blindfold off and to weigh your options and to examine right. the evidence to look at the facts of the matter um, here we have unexpectedly this this card which is in a direct opposition oh, it is to so. that so you cower, apparently. <laughs> You've been cowering. You've been cowering and you don't want to face some decision that you need to make, some choice you have to make. You don't want to face the music. You don't want to face it. Mm -hmm. But um, it's unexpected because you want very much to deliver your passion, your circumstance, your, your situation to its conclusion. You want to finish it, cross the finish line. But you are suspicious. But you're suspicious. Of something. Of something or, or someone. someone. And it could be the law. Or a contract. Or a contract. Yes. Or something legal. Something legal. So you're suspicious of that and ultimately you can't... Unexpectedly, you can't face the issue you at can't hand. Face the issue at hand. Yes. I got to see it. Oh my god. It's the Ace of Cups. So can and I do the love reading? Because <laughs> we had the Knight last month and then we had the Nine of Pentacles reversed. So to me this is a love reading. So, um, okay, what is the Ace of Cups? The Ace of Cups is falling in love, okay? Um, it can also mean uh, it's, it's, and we had talked about this earlier as well. This is this is the warm, fuzzy stuff that you get um, when someone is delivering to you a dopamine rush, okay? Um, and that happens uh, when we fall in love. Our brain lights up as if we're on heroin, and I'm really into that. <laughs> so that could be very much why your challenge is to examine the facts. Because who wants to look at facts when you got this lit up brain? Your brain's lit up like a Christmas tree. I mean, for real. And then we have this Two of Swords in the position of the unexpected where you refuse either to divulge something. So you keep it close to the vest, right? Exactly, close to the vest. The facts are like right here. You're protecting your heart. You're protecting yourself because the self, they say the self lives, that when we feel who we are, it's really in this area right here. Sometimes mostly here, but uh, like there are, there are people that feel that, that they live right behind their eyes, mm -hmm. right behind all the organs of the face, but sometimes you have a feeling that you're here. And sometimes the emotional part is here. Mm -hmm. And so the, the sim symbol is that you're protecting yourself, the deepest part of you, mm -hmm. from intellectual curiosity. Yours because, or anybody yeah. else's. Because if those swords were to drop, all 
Oh, can you grab that real quick and turn it off? All kinds of mayhem mm -hmm. will break loose. Oh, absolutely. Um, so unexpectedly you realize that you still have to stay in this position in right. order to keep the cup full. To keep the cup full. Because if you were to let those swords drop... Yeah, you... you your cup... You're jeopardizing your cup. Yes. And or you are... Your love. But... Affair. But another scenario could be also that near the end of the month, someone helps you. Someone offers help out of love for you. So it's an offering to you of something. An offering that to help you to complete, perhaps, your mission, mm -hmm. which is expressed by the first card. Uh, perhaps even to meet your challenge of, of being fair. Mm -hmm. And at the end, you are and happy. love is reciprocated. Love, love because is we had the night last mm -hmm. month coming in from yes the uh, top yeah. of the month, and this now is, we've got this ace. And, and if you're if, if you're one of those people who are just meeting someone for the first time, the card is indicative that this relationship has merit. Yes, that it is a relationship that is actually founded on mutual respect and mutual caring which is very good mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. maybe they're suspect here if it's a love reading and mistrustful mistrustful here of dropping their guard because the guard right. is up right but and then the, the challenge is to be to analyze examine the facts I see that this might be a new love a new in. love. Because last month we had some things going on that said there was a love affair happening, maybe. Yeah. Um, but an inverted nine at the end. Okay. Nine of what? Nine of pentacles. Oh, okay. Which tells me oh, that's right. that this card makes sense. Right. Because there's some suspicion going on with that nine of pentacles. Right, 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 right. Um, or if it's not suspicion, it could be just you're just a little bit beat up and worn out. Right. Um, and then. And you're wary. Of and you're wary. Yeah. Yeah. So you could actually. Mm hmm This there could be a new love there coming in. There could be a new love. Yes. And or a new offer. Which, or a which, new offer, yes. Or a new offer which comes from a, a place of love. Mm-hmm. Either way, it's wonderful. It's help. It's help. It's yes. helpful. It's helpful. Yes. And it gives you a sense of peace, which is, you can see the water yes, lilies. Yes, it is peace. It's calm water. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, it's a peaceful feeling at the end of the month. Right. There you go. It's a nice reading, Libra. It is. It's a very beautiful reading, Libra. Resolved, resolved, resolved. resolved. It's resolved at the end. Yeah, these are such Libra cards, too, oh, aren't they? they are. They are. So thank you, Libra, for joining us for your reading, and thank you for forgiving us for last month's reading. <laughs> and we hope you enjoyed this reading. If you would like more information, higher spiritual counsel, please click on the link below. Talk about the council card. And uh, <laughs> you and you'll receive higher spiritual counsel from our council card, uh, which will put a more, a deeper light onto the four card spread. And or you can come to uh, virtualtarot.wordpress.com and order a private, totally personal, meant for you alone reading. If yes. you need one. If you'd like more information, please click on one of the video links on our channel. Go to virtualtarot.wordpress.com. And after that, you go to purchase a reading, choose a reading, email us at avatrudy at yahoo.com. At that point, we'll get back to you immediately, and your reading has begun. So, Libra, thanks. Ciao. <laughs> Have a wonderful spring break. See you in May. Bye. Consistency, come on and say go! Oh.
sunrise It's a brand new day So gonna make a little list To keep the words away I gotta dance just a little bit Move to be free Keep my head up Don't forget to be me Like I want a million dollars Like I hit the pay dirt Gonna smile from ear to ear The kind that makes a face hurt And we'll laugh, jump, sing loud Not afraid to shout about Being happy, living it out Take a look and see A beautiful morning That turns into a beautiful evening And together make a beautiful life And if you wanna see Then come along with me That's right And if you want a good tomorrow It's pretty simple Got a point to let you follow And if you do You have a future real bright And it's a combination Of consistency 